Yep. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the video. My name is Dylan, and the purpose of this video is to show you the second cathedral hive I built. Uh, somebody saw the video from the first cathedral hive and uh, hired me to build him one. So I'm gonna go through some of the features really quick and uh, just show you. So the cathedral hive comes in three parts. Uh, you got the roof, um, top, bottom. Uh, the roof, we've got aluminum sheeting uh, to prevent water coming in. Um, this whole hive is going to be treated with uh, linseed oil and beeswax as well, uh, as opposed to the polyurethane. On this one, this client wanted 100% natural beehive. Um, so from the top, we've got uh, some good ventilation here. Nice six big holes that are really easily adjusted um, to, to you know be able to dial in the airflow and uh, you know, air inside. There's also six holes in the bottom. So there's a couple features on the top here I'll show you. So here we got wire mesh on all those ventilation holes to prevent bees coming in and drawing comb on up here. We also have these pieces of wood here are removable. So in the summertime, if it's a warm climate, we're taking out these screws here and here. You can pop these out and you'll get nice airflow coming up. And in the winter time, you can put them back in. Also, a cool feature about this hive is there's this foam insert that fits very snugly right inside. And uh, that'll just really trap in the heat uh, really well as opposed to putting foam externally around hives like most people do, uh, top bar hives do. So uh, let's start at the entrance here. It's got the periscope entrance. Uh, what this means is these land on the landing board, they go in, they work their way up, and then there's uh, two holes with a screen mesh that's big enough for them to go through, uh, as well as the queen and drones. Uh, this uh, diminishes robbing because there's more time that the bees can find other bees or you know that aren't from the hive and uh, handle that. And uh, it also has a little bit of help to do with varroa mites. They could fall off at that point. Um, so let's take a look back here. Start pulling out some frames. So you'll kind of keep this backboard. We got the backboard and the followboard. You'll keep that followboard, you know, so that you have 80% draw and comb up front, and you store the rest in the back. Uh, this has an in-hive feeder that you can fill with mason jars. The nice thing about this is that uh, the bees don't have to leave the warmth of the hive to feed in the winter time. And you can also take the lid off without really bugging them and refill your feeder. So if we take some more frames off, I'll show you. Uh, the other cool feature about this feeder is uh, it's a multi purpose. The client wanted, because it's late in the season, he wanted the ability to put in two packages of hives separately and uh, let them get used to each other's pheromones. Uh, before you know um, combining them so this cover slides up allowing the bees to use the feeder or in which case he wants to use this as a divider this goes down take this screw out and the feeder board itself comes off so you have a flush divider that allows ventilation and then once the bees are acclimated you can pull this out the bees are combined and everyone's happy um, you can take a look here. This is that entrance I told you about. Actually, it only has one hole. But this is the wire mesh, uh, essentially is a mouse guard. If we look at the bottom here, we have a screen bottom board. Uh, this helps uh, with virolamite treatment. You can put Vaseline on this uh, piece of steel down here, and the virolamites will get stuck to it. And you can also pull that out and uh, you know get a count and, and clean it, as you will. Um, over here on the windows, we have two double pane windows. Um, and the double pane is just really for insulation, uh, which is really nice. Also, these have an interior uh, base. And what this does is help prevent light uh, penetrating through because the bees want to be in darkness. Lastly, you can see here, we have the same feature with the air control. So that is that top bar hive, or the cathedral hive. And I'm gonna go here and show you a frame or two really quickly so you can see how cool it is. So 
So if you can look around here, these are my excess. I have my door closed. I got it. And if we So the cathedral hive is nice because you can just lift one at a time and really not be disturbing them too much. But we'll scoot up here. Find a nice frame. So you can see, because it's a cathedral hive versus the top bar hive, they can draw out 30% more comb, and that really helps. You see, they kept the ventil or the you know the bee highways open, and they've sealed up any sort of gap with propolis, and it's just a really nice full hive. You can see plenty of brood in the middle and honey stores up top, and uh, just having the cathedral shape, the octagon, uh, you can really, it's it's just a much more stable uh, comb. We'll put these girls back together and leave you on your way. Thank you.